Hello. Hi everyone. Myself Nitesh. Here we are going for a part seven video. Now this is a part seven video continuation of part six, which will be dealing with the comparison between the slow sand filter as well as rapid sand filter. So we'll go on to that particular slide and we'll discuss about the matter which we are going to be discuss. So that is. Comparison between the slow sand filter as well as gravity sand filter. So here, what is the comparison we are going to do? Is first one that that is your pretreatment requirements. How the pretreatment requirements here? For example, this is a pretreatment, right? Isn't it? This pretreatment requirements. So here in the slow sand filter, if you come to slow sand filter, the effluent either from plain sedimentation tank or raw water without any treatment are generally fed into them and coagulation not, is not at all required. Coagulation, flocculation, sedimentation is required because there is a rate of filtration is high in the rapid rapid sand filter. Therefore, rapid sand filter, the rate of filtration is high. Therefore, it must be it must be coagulated, it must be flocculation has to be done in the sedimentation tank. Otherwise, so that fine particle cannot be removed in the rapid sand filter. But slow sand filter, it did not to be. Just plain sedimentation process is enough without any coagulation also. It can be directly fed into a slow sand filter. So that will be capable to take the, capable to take the, all the coagulated, that is slow fine uh, fine particles which will be a slow process is in rate of filtration is slow so that this is the process as easy method so now we will go to another process that is base material uh, sorry another item that is base material base material is the gravel this is about base material isn't it this base material what it will do actually this base material gravel based support in the sand varies from the 3 to 65 mm size to here that is the material difference we are here mentioning the comparison that is 3 to 65 mm as well as and 3 to uh, sorry 30 to 75 centimeter in the depth okay this is uh, your depth so your rapid sand will come and it is in the process of it is in the process of here. This is the rapid sand filter. The depth of the size is around 30 to 75, and size of the particle is of the size is 3 to 65 mm. Varies in the rapid slow sand filter, but in the case of rapid sand filter, it is different. So we'll just go and discuss about rapid sand filter. The gravel base supports in the sand distribute the wash water uniformly on the surface of the sand it is varies from 3 to 40 mm 3 to 40 mm in the size and its depth slightly more than 30 to 90 centimeters just compare you see the comparison between the slow sand filter as well as rapid sand filter there is no much difference only the variations of the depth as well as size. Now, if you if you come for solid filters, third one the filtered sand. It is that filtered sand. In this filtered sand, here the effective size of the filtered sand ranges between between 0.2 to 0.4 mm. The effective size of the filtered sand ranges between. This is the sand. This is the base material. What I told. And uniform coefficient between that 1.8. Already we discussed the design criteria of the both the rapid sand filter as well as slow sand filter uh, size characteristics of the material that in that sand size we discussed. So that has mentioned here. The grain size distribution is generally uniform throughout the depth. The media is expected to 10 to 15. You know that 10 to 15 here. And if you come to this filter sand ranges between 0.35 to 0.55 as well as coefficient that is uniformity coefficient is 1.8 to 1.2 to 1.8 okay so this is about the third comparison fourth comparison is under drainage system okay 
before the compression is under drain system laid in order to receive filtered water under drain system is only laid in order to receive filtered water okay this is what a filtered water but in in case of that laid receive filled also passes a water for the back washing see this is here only to receive the filtered water but here it is back washing also important so that back washing purpose it is it is under drain system also designed so size of each unit usually size if size comes in the pictures if size something comes in the comparison picture then the large such that is large such a such as 30 mm 30 meter sorry 30 meter by 60 meter the area varying from 100 to 2000 meter square or more this is area for example 30 into 6900 so, um, uh, 6 1800 so that is what your 1000 to 2000 meter square okay mm. now if you come to that is large uh, that if if you come to rapid sample that, that is more such as 5 into 8 meter small and varying from 80 to 10 to 80 meter square then the rate of filtration will be low here 100 to 200 liter per hour okay rate of filtration is 100 to 200 but here just think that is 330 times that is more than as uh, close sensitivity that is 3000 liter per hour per meter square filter area very very important economy but here i initial cost is this initial cost is high and the material low cost operation and maintenance so the first initial cost will be there will be a little more but low cost and operation maintenance low initial cost but higher the cost of operation and maintenance because overall it is cheaper and economical okay but the depre- uh, depreciation of the cost relatively low relatively high okay and this is relatively low if it is eight and efficiency very efficient in removing bacteria 90 to 98 percent you see but uh, less efficient to remove the color They are less efficient to remove the bacteria that is 80 to 95 percent actually sorry 90 percent but a very efficient to remove the color flexibility it is not flexible for meeting the variation of the demand but is quite flexible to meet the reasonable variation in the demand okay so this is about flexibility easy in the construction the construction is very simple but it is a little complicated because such as a uh, skilled supervision is required for that under drain system to be properly designed okay period of cleaning cleaned in interval of 1 month to 3 months but it is frequently cleaning intervals of 1 to 3 days even or 24 hours used to clean this is about your comparison okay or one of the important factors now we will come to another factor that is pressure sand filter pressure sand filter is nothing but pressure sand filter is nothing but it is not gravity okay it is not gravity flow it flows by its under pressure okay that pressure has we have to develop pressure here this will concentrate about pressure sand filter some of the important factors in the pressure sand filter is nothing but pressure sand filters are similar to your rapid sand filter but however the media gravel under drains are contained as a closer level okay closer level your it is almost similar of your um what the rapid ga- rapid sand filter but see here it can media distribution you can see here the filtered bed around point 73 to 3 meter meter bitter bed this there that is uh, here you can see pool um sand fine sand free size gravel fine gravel fine sand and large gravels are provided in the multi layer so now here the pressure sand filter is similar to a conventional rapid filter however the media gravel and the drains are contained closer vessel closer vessel steel or cast iron is used 
seal or cast is used in this case okay and the filter is operated under the pressure head of 30 to 70 meters of the water this is the pressure head of under this particular can similarly gravity sand filter media pressure is usually sand combination of the multimedia that is i already mentioned this is multimedia filter usually you can call it as filtration rate is 6, 6 to 15 meters per hour or similar rate of rapid grand filter these are also adequate regular back washing this is are a comp this, these are a compact and can be prefabricated and moved to site this is prefabricated and moved to site and it is and the size also it will be like a small scale industry also can be used as well as large scale industry can be also used so typically pressure and filter will be use filtration from the groundwater okay high turbidity or low high quality of the or high quality of the surface does not require clarification okay in the groundwater system they can be used removal of fe that is in fe and m and manganese in addition of turbidity, pressure and filter are used primarily in the small plants, small industries like swimming pools as well as etc. as I mentioned. Okay, it is cannot be used because a little cost will be more if you use for the municipal water supply. Okay, large small scale it will be little good. Next uh, the construction if you see if you see the construction of this there will be a box it is a it is a box or an enclosure or closed con container it is also a called closed container you may be seen most of the small scale industry institutions have this kind of filters here one construction box made up of artificially usually steel that is your steel or RPC is made up of that and must be strong enough to support the weight of the water okay and underdone system and filter based medium underdone system functions to collect the remove the filtered water and then it is dispersed to backwash the water it consists of built place mainly lateral type see here the figure you can see here the raw water will come from here the raw water will come from here and it will Pass to a filter bed and our release bulbs are there and it has deflector plates are there and man here one hole is there manhole to enter the man raw water fine sand as well as your filtered media is provided here the wash compress compressed air inlet is here you can see this is the compressed air inlet and this is the wash water inlet and this is your filtered water will be collected in the drainage system and wash water outlet they can be drawn here it depends so whenever the outlet wash whenever the you are using washing purpose that time you close the inlet and outlet value just to open the wash water gutter value that's all so advantages if you see in this it is compact and automatic operation here it is compact and automatic there is an ideal small estate and small water tank work like that the filter requires small area of installation and that is not much area because it's required small number of filter fittings are required these are a small filtered water comes under pressure no further pumping is required no sedimentation and coagulation tanks are required in this unit because already all the process happens here okay now no sediment if you come to disadvantages due to heavy cost on the treatment they cannot be used for large quantity water work like municipal water supply work you cannot use it okay and uh, we can use properly that is properly quality control and inspection not possible because it's a closed tank isn't it the efficiency of the removal bacteria is poor Change the filter media gravel repair drainage system is little difficult as compared to others. So now we will concentrate on a problem. Shall we discuss now mm, no, mm, like little uh, re design problems regarding on the filters? So design a six slow sand filter. Remember here the six slow sand filter means six units of the slow sand filter. 
and sand filter wet from the following data population is 50,000 person okay population is a 50,000 person and per capita demand is 150 LPCD that is 150 liter per head per day and the rate of filtration is in 180 liters per hour per meter square length length of each wet is equal to twice the breadth assume the maximum demand of 1.8 times of the average daily demand and this is assume 1.8 times of average daily demand assume that the out of fix will be one as standby right it is a simple question there is no much just because all the data is given now here here average has mentioned how much population into per capita demand if you get the daily demand of the water because for 50 percent they are mentioned and they are mentioned 150 liter per day per person is required so total 50 per 50,000 so 50,000 multiplied by 150 you will get the total liter is required for the 50,000 person members so but it is taking that 1.8 times maximum demand is 1.8 times so that's 1.8 time if you multiply with this then you will get the total maximum daily demand because when you are designing the filter it has to design for maximum filter demand not a um, average daily demand rate of filtration per day rate of filtration per day is 180 into 24 180 into 24 because why I am multiplying 24 here because I need I need it in day it is because our demand is in day right so that if I multiply by 24 I will get it in day that is 4.32 10 to the power 3 liters per meter cube per meter square per day it was in hour so this hour I if I convert into day means I need to multiply 24 that 24 I multiplied so that I get 4.32 into 10 to the power 3 and the total surface area is required is equal to maximum daily demand right surface area means what it is a rate of filtration divided that is your maximum daily demand multiplied by rate of filtration per day so here what is rate of filtration rate of filtration is nothing but your 13.65 13.65 into 10 to the power 6 liter per day is not it now the rate of filtration is nothing but 4.32 into 10 to the power 3 meter square per meter liter per day so this liter per day liter, liter per day yes, sir, we are getting answer is in meter square so this meter square is 3, 1, 2, 5 meters square but our total 6 will be there right so that 1 is standby the remaining is 1 by 5 so we need to design 6 isn't it 6 filters they told in the problem so that so there will be a 6 units so 1 will be standby means 1 by 5 multiplied by total area you will get a total 625 meters square it's very simple so now the length length and breadth so what they told in the problem actually mm, length of the each bit is equal to twice of the breadth so that means L is equal to length of the each bit is equal to twice of the breadth 2b so surface area means what L into the each isn't it so L into B means surface area. The surface area is 625 meters square. Then L is equal to 2B. 2B into B is equal to 625 meters square. So that is B square divided multiply. B square is equal to 625 divided by 2. That 2 is becomes 312.5. So B is equal to 17.67. Say B is 18. Then L is equal to 36 meter. That is 2 times of that. So N C is of the but is equal to 36 by 18 meter arranged in a 3 unit on each side ok one will be standard this is one problem regarding that another problem we are going to discuss that is
that is design a approximate dimensions design a approximate dimensions of a set of gravity ram gravity filter treating a water population of 50000 okay this is also i am going to rapid gravity sand i am going to design here with a treating of 50000 at the rate of water supply is being 180 liter per day per person per day per person the filter are to be treated work the filter per day per person the filter are rated at the work of 55000 liter per hour per day of square per meter liter per hour per square meter okay so that is nothing but as the water whatever the data is required that i can assume so now what is this one that is 50000 550000 liter per hour per meter square okay now what they told they told problem has mentioned that 50000 population 180 liter per day per person is required right so now we are assuming maximum daily demand 1.8 times as we as we designed in the previous problem now our population is 50000 and 180 per person and 1.8 is maximum daily demand it becomes the water which is coming to the treatment plant is become 116.2 that is 16.2 into 10 to the power 6 liter per day okay this is which is coming for our filter water demand per hour if you can convert into per hour that will be 6 675 into 10 to the power 3 liter per hour it will be coming because our this will be in or if you can convert into this one you can convert into day instead of that you can directly convert into hour so now it is become area filter again water demand divided by rate of filtration that is 675 into 10 to the power 3 675 into 10 to the power 3 that is 500 which is rate of filtration so that becomes 135 the sense 230 if you design 135 by 2 that is 67.5 meter square where l is equal to if we take assuming l is equal to 1.5 time, times of b then your b becomes 6 meter then the b becomes 7 meter so then l become 110.5 meter this is what your design criteria very simple right there is no much calculations are needed and this is direct we are going to design in so one more time i'll repeat it this problem here here Ma- maximum daily demand is 150000 and rate is 180 liter per day per person is there so that population multiply by your maximum daily supply maximum daily supply with a particularly demand that is 50000 multiplied by multiplied by 1.8 which is assumed and 180 has mentioned per person liter is demand is here mentioned it is here can see and that is one one 162.10 the for 6 liter per day if you convert into hour that is divided by 24 that is 67 675 into 10 the word 3 liter per hour so now rate, rate of filtration rate of filtration we have 50 5000 liter per hour per meter cube then area becomes 60 that is water demand is 675 into 10 to the power 3 and this is becomes mm, this is becomes 5000 then this is 5000 then 135 liter per day we will 135 meter square you will get so that multiplied by 2 if you do that of 67.5 you will get that is l is equal to 1.5 times of b then if you assume it we can assume till 2 also that becomes that becomes that becomes 10.5 10.5 
okay that is where it becomes 10.5 this is about one problem regarding one more unit if you if i if you take one more point that is design of rapid sand filter unit for a 4 million liter per day after supply with the all its principal components if i take water required per day is 4 mld assuming 4 percent of the filter water is required for washing the filter is every day if is having total filter required for see this is very important problem just uh, we will read out the problem properly here see the design a rapid sand filter for 4 million liter per day of the water supply think that 4 million liter of the water which is coming to the treatment plant what are the with all its principal components we are going to design now so now what is the main component here it is water required per day is 4 mld right so for assuming 4 percent of the filtered water assuming 4 percent of the filtered water required for washing the filtered every day we do total filtered is how much for example we require 4% of water is required for assuming washing purposes. So now, extra water is required, for, then our water becomes 4.16 mld, that is 1.04 into 4, 4 mld, right? So, assuming extra 4% means becomes 4.16 mld because we have to do the wash back washing, isn't it? Now, assuming 10. 0.5 hour is lost for every day this every day because of wash work uh, back washing when we are assuming that back washing we need a 0.5 hour means 30 minutes that becomes your filtered it becomes only that becomes 23 hour 23.5 hour we will get for filtration remaining hour will be going for back washing okay now actual hour is treatment is 23.5 so filtered water required is 4.16 actually we got it so then your total uh, hour if you convert into hour then it becomes 23.5 so 0 0.177 into 10 to the 4 6 liter per hour you will get the required quantity of water assuming rate of filtration here you are assuming 5000 liters per meter square you can assume it as i mentioned in the different criteria so are you area of the filter bed is required as, as you know that water demand as well as filter rate of filtration that is 0.177 into 10 to the power 6 we got it and 5000 so it is become 35.4 meters square so if you take l is equal to 1.5 times of the breadth or 2 times then it becomes um 1.5 into so l becomes 1.5 and b becomes 5.2 so total it is becomes 5.2 into 3.4 dimension we will get it so this is about the problem it has to be this side so very simple you can concentrate if any doubts you can give the comment in the comment box okay so we will move on another topic it is called filt uh, filtration it is micro filtration filtration so that here we are concentrated in filtration we are concentrated on the only dilution in the system no there is no doubt which we are discussed almost rapid gravity sand filter slow sand filter pressure sand filter and its direction and uh, tank details as well as our procedures followed so now we'll move on to another part that is filtration in the part <coughs> this is part 8 right part 7 is completed this is part 8 video that which i did now now we are moving to part 9 video that is next video which is of part 9 of filtration okay so please concentrate on for that and we'll discuss the matter which is required thank you